I saw the clouds roll in and run across the sky And I hope that I really hope that Alright YouTube, I'm here with uh, White Tiger Rides He is somewhere behind me Oh there he is, I don't know if you guys can see him to do a review on the Alpine Stars Cloak Fleece Jacket, which is what I'm wearing. It's the Monster Edition. And I've worn it uh, for, I don't know, maybe three weeks. Um, it's pretty nice. I bought the jacket uh, because I wanted a light riding jacket, and this definitely is a light riding jacket. Uh, it is very minimal in safety standards. Uh, it's got foam inserts on the shoulder and on the elbows. Um, you can upgrade it. I got the jacket from Revzilla. I'll put a link for those guys down below in the description. Although shout out for them, I mean they've been amazing, I've ordered a lot of stuff from Rosilla and uh, shipping's amazing, if anything doesn't fit, uh, they'll uh, take it back, uh, no stocking fee, I believe they'll pay for shipping as well, return shipping and everything, so those guys are pretty amazing, go check them out, they do have the upgrade inserts as well for uh, better safety, but yeah this jacket is very light, it is fleece and it's very warm though. I wore it at um, in different temperatures. So I'm in Canada, so we go by degrees Celsius. So I, I'm not really sure what fer what it equates to Fahrenheit or in Fahrenheit. But um, I wrote it in two degrees Celsius, uh, anywhere between two degrees Celsius and uh, twelve degrees Celsius, pretty much. And I did wear it just um, out on the street when I'm hanging out with buddies when I'm not riding. Uh, and I wore it at minus 5 degrees Celsius and uh, it kept me pretty warm. Right now it's I think 10 degrees Celsius. I have a t-shirt underneath and I feel fine. Oh, we gotta go in this lane. We're going to Market Mall for absolutely no reason. Just to ride. And uh, yeah. So uh, actually that's one thing I love about this jacket. It's so normal looking. Oh, well, one more lane. It doesn't look like a riding jacket. I mean, if you look really carefully, you can see the uh, the shape of the inserts that are inside. And um, I mean, it's got the Alpine Stars and Monster on it. But other than that, you can't really tell that it's a riding jacket, and it's very nice. And it's water resistant, I believe. And I just kind of wore it to school for my lectures and uh, just to hang out with my buddies. And it's very comfortable. I like it. It is definitely a spring spring jacket, um, and I wouldn't suggest wearing it if you're going on long road trips, especially onto the highway, because of the uh, very low safety um, specs. But if you're just going for a quick rip, or like me going to the university, then it's perfect because you can. Wear it around school, you'll feel comfortable, you'll look badass. Um, yeah, it's awesome. So yeah, I mean it's a really quick review. There's very in-depth reviews that you can go look into in other YouTube channels. But it's it's a jacket, right? I mean it's a, a version, a variety of the very popular Alpine Stars cloak, cloak jacket, right? So just a monster edition. Um, other than that, yeah, it's, uh, it's very nice. a size 40 regular chest and I am wearing a medium normally I would wear a large for jackets but I'm taking a medium so there's a rough um, rough sizing for you I'm 5'8 170 like 4 or something centimeters um, and the sleep length is perfect the jacket length is perfect for that height in a, for a medium so yeah, in case you guys are wondering about sizing, there's that. But yeah, like I said, if you order from Rezilla, if it doesn't fit, they'll take it back and uh, send you a new one. That's it for the cloak fleece review. Very short review. I love it. I recommend it. And, uh, and it's time for the Svids featured bike. Check it out.
So, the bike you just saw, it's beautiful 2014 Ninja 300. I am absolutely in love with Ninja 300s because it was my first bike and it's always going to have a place in my heart. So, check out Forensics Ninja. That's what it stands for, 4 and 6. It's supposed to stand for Forensics Ninja. So, check her out. Show her some love. Her link is in the description below. And, yeah. I'm just going to keep doing shenanigans with the <laughs> White Tiger Rides here. You have your signal light on still. <laughs> Noob. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do a tonic points review for, for the jacket. Yeah, okay, so this jacket, guys. Uh, what should I give it? I mean, I've thought about what I was going to give, and I seem to be stuck on... On... Um, eight. Eight tonic points out of ten. And the reason being is because um, I wouldn't mind uh, a little bit more protection. Although, I, I mean, that's more op opinion. It shouldn't really affect the rating. Uh, but personally, I would, I would like a little bit more protection. Um, but it's a trade-off. The better the protection, it's not going to be as comfortable to ride or wear around. This jacket is comfortable enough to ride um, just, you know, regular basis even when you're not riding. So... Yeah, because of the foam, and it's very bendable and stuff, but if once you get into like plastics or something, or gel, it's not going to be as comfortable. So yeah, there is a trade-off, so um, there's that. Um, and I wish it was a little bit more warm, maybe it had a, a thin slate or something, but I guess that could bring up the price. Right now, I think this retails at about 230 or something, or 200 I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that, but... Um, yeah, uh, I would have liked a little bit more warmth and protection. But other than that, this is a great jacket for uh, just a light riding and a spring jacket. So, uh, yeah. Oh, son of a... Are you serious, dude? He's like, oh my god, this kid doesn't even know how to ride. <laughs>